A major jump in modern medicine for Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center. It's among the first in the country to utilize brand new technology that detects blood test errors instantly. Doctors say the system improves treatment accuracy and significantly reduces care costs. NBC4 Samantha Bender joins us live and Sam, why are doctors calling this a game changer? Well, doctors in Wexner's emergency department tell me they see upwards of 230 patients a day. And in emergency situations, nurses have less time to perform a perfect blood draw, which can often lead to errors. This new blood gas system, though, is working to fix that. The error it can detect is called hemolysis, which is the destruction of red blood cells. Hemolysis can falsely increase potassium measurements. The onus was really on the physicians to have to try to catch these samples um, by comparing the results to the rest of the clinical context. And so that inevitably would delay um, being able to properly interpret the results and could potentially delay proper treatment. Here's how the system works. When a blood gas sample is collected, it gets brought to the lab. A probe will come out so that you can sample. Sampling only takes about 15 seconds. The first thing that it does is that hemolysis um, check to see if there's anything wrong with the sample, and then it will go along with analyzing the rest of the data. Then the results appear on the screen. From the screen, they would see if anything looked um, a little incorrect, if something wasn't what they were expecting it to be, and they could exclude the results at this point so that they wouldn't go to the patient's chart. Doctors say this technology is the first of its kind that's available in an instrument that's used at the point of care, allowing for more rapid decision making. If a patient has high potassium, they could go into cardiac arrest in a matter of minutes. When a patient comes in, the quickest way for us to get that potassium level is a blood gas. It comes back about five times faster than a regular blood draw. Dr. Robert Cooper tells me before this, they would sometimes inaccurately treat patients due to these errors. He says unnecessary medical treatment is not good. Rather than having to guess, well, I think the heart rhythm is because of this potassium, or I trust that this potassium is high and we didn't hemolyze it. Now you have that accurate information and you can take a deep breath and be like, okay, now I know what to do. Dr. Cooper says this new system also ensures the hospital isn't spending money on unnecessary medicine because some treatments for high potassium can be quite expensive. Local for you, I'm Samantha Bender, NPC4. All right, Samantha, thank you.